almost done with the source. Well, I mean the first. Looks like there's not much left to do here. I guess there's the savage. There's gonna be the savage raiding after this. Okay, not much else to do. And a near raid. Also, shouldn't take that long. Empty promise. Yalford is so engrossed in this slip of paper in his hands that he barely notices your approach. Do try not to startle him. Am I gonna go boo? Oh, so the rumors of your knack for being in the right place at the right time are true. You see? just completed our preparations for another expedition into the empty. Miss Ryan and Miss Gaia agrees that it's high time you all went to see how things are coming along. Though I must say, being at their beck and call night and day does test my patience on occasions. My patience? Well, well, fancy seeing you here. It's Gaia. Oh. <laughs> uh, her outfit is just. It's there, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just getting ready for another ride on the Sky Slipper. Care to join us? There was one other thing I should mention before you depart. Not that the situation in Yulmore has settled down somewhat. My associates would have made some headway into investigating your past, Miss Gaia. Is that so? Hmm? I thought that's what you wanted. Uh, so did I. I quite like the way things are now. Thinking around in my past might... I don't know. Spoil it somehow. Besides, uncovering the truth behind the voice in my head. My strange powers are bound to be more interesting than whatever life it was I had in Yulmore. I understand. We'll find the answers together, just like we do everything else. How are the coffee biscuits? They were delicious, as always. I hear they're quite fattening, so we usually just buy one and a, and have half each. And then you always get another one anyway. Yes, but we break that in half too, so it's fine. Then we may as well have one each to begin with. Honestly, Rain, I sometimes wonder if you've got biscuits for brains. I must say, my time in the Crystarium has been rather enjoyable. We even had a chance to make a necklace from the ice crystal we found. And in case you're one, you were wondering, I haven't been neglecting my training. I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want my skills to get rusty just because 10 creds not around. I'm ready for whatever lies ahead. Yuri Anji would also be pleased to hear you've had your head in those fusty old tomes. I've even done a bit of studying myself. After all, it's up to us to take care of the empty now. Nod. Looking forward to seeing how things have changed since our last visit. Come on, let's head over to the derrick. Uh, hopefully this intro isn't too long and we'll get to the fights <laughs> quick. <laughs> Getting antsy. But, um, yeah. I've been so busy this week. I didn't intend to actually do this so late in the week, you know. Now it's just two more days. Um,. There was the new WoW raid, and also Cyberpunk. Although I haven't actually done the raid in WoW that much. Not, 
you know, not in the big. My friends who used to raid, uh, one of them plays WoW Classic now, hardcore, so. Don't suppose you fancy taking the helm this time. Yeah, I can drive. Wait, I'll pilot this time. Oh, I didn't realize you knew how. While you were off training, I was practicing with another skyslipper they had, the Crystarium. Really? That's fantastic! Hardly. You've been pulling more than your own weight, and I just wanted to do what I can to contribute more. So you two can sit back, relax, and leave it to me. Alright. Kayak certainly kept that quiet. She's just full of surprises, isn't she? Let's get going. Let's get some uh, skill speed or something. Spell speed? Let's get some spell speed. I think I'm gonna sell those anyway. <laughs> I should probably empty out those crystals that give seven grade sevens and then like uh, just morph them at the transmuter over and over. It's so strange suddenly seeing you at the controls. Why didn't you tell me you'd been practicing? I thought I'd surprise you, that's all. Wow, they're already, uh... Wow, I didn't know you did this, you know? <laughs> kind of a couple. Consider me surprised. All this time, I thought you were only good for smashing things with your hammer. Hmm. Bring that up again and you can walk the rest of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'd best behave. I wouldn't want to get stranded and empty and miss the festival. Festival? We haven't exactly been keeping it a secret, but it's still in the planning stages. You see, the return of the night sky has brought lots of changes. While everyone is glad, the reality is it's also been quite stressful having to adapt to a new way of life. Seeing how hard our elders are working to keep the Crystarium running, youths like myself came up with the idea of hosting an event as a way of expressing our appreciation. Appreciation. Once we return from the empty, I'll be helping as one of the organizers. Organizers! I'd offer to help, but I think you have everything well in hand. I'm being confident in them. Okay, I'm not. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I tried my best. I tried my best to make it a success. If everything goes well, all you need to do is turn up and enjoy yourself. How about you, Gaia? Would you like to help with the festival? What's that? I uh, haven't been listening. My uh, leg is crimping up a bit. By looting this thing must have made me more tense than I'd realize. Oh. Did, did one of us take over? Oh. Oh, she's worried. No, I'll be fine. Well, as long as you're sure. If you feel like switching places, just say the word. I feel like she knows she won't be there for the festival or something. That's the kind of thing they're foreshadow. No! How can this be? What? I guess it's still... Oh, is it it's like snow? <laughs> is it emptying out again? I think that explains it. Oh, it's back to just yellow. Or is that crystal? Hmm. Weird. Light. Does this mean there's still too much of it in the empty? I'm no expert. I 
that I, this might be a result of losing control when you restored the ice element. Even though I tried to use darkness to hold back the light spilling forth, it seems it wasn't enough. Then we're right back to where we started. This is all my fault. Noreen, you mustn't blame yourself. <laughs> you have returned to me. Restore the darkness while you still can. Oh, she's thinking. A familiar voice. An inescapable, inescapable fate. The promise of salvation at the precipice of ruin. And the remnants of the lost past. I would find my truth. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the <laughs> no more of a dialogue when she's um, narrating. It's been so long since Gaia had one of her headaches that I thought the fairy might have disappeared for good. Do you think it's got something to do with Eden? Fear of the dark. Gaia appears to be conversing with the voice inside her head. I've only seen the first two raid bosses. I'm gonna assume the first one. The first one I think was... Uh, the Cloud of Darkness. So, I'm excited to see that fight. It looks good. I'm a big fan of Cloud of the Darkness, you know? Restore the darkness to the world flooded by light. Oh, that's it! We thought we'd restore balance of the six elements, but perhaps they're still too strongly aligned with light. If that's the case, maybe we could set things right by using darkness. By using darkness? Mar, are you serious? Darkness. But hold on. It might actually work. Gaia, that's a brilliant idea. I, I wouldn't go that far. Just remembered of what I learned during our adventures, that's all. This does mean we'll need to call on your services again, if that's alright with you. Yep. I'm a punch darkness. What ta? What to? Come this far together, and we'll see our mission to the end. To Eden's core. Okay, looks like we're going right into the first one. That's good. I'm guessing there's gonna be more of a uh, cutscenes uh, after the second one, because they showed the. F the first two in the trailer. They don't show the number three and number four. Number three and number four. Got ya. I'll say one thing before we start. This all goes horribly wrong. Don't even think about putting it on me. Not that it will, of course. Right, let's get started. But, um, were there any primals aligned with darkness? I can't seem to recall any. You mean there isn't one? Shrug. The Asian's god, Zodiac, may be suitable. We'd need something that she has actually encountered and preferably defeated. Does it have to be a primal for it to work? If it's just a lot of darkness that we need, perhaps there are other ways to get it. You may be right. What we ultimately need is a state of highly charged darkness. It shouldn't matter what form it takes. Does anything come to mind? I know a few void scent that would fit the bill. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. The creatures are unleashed. I under the fairy's control. If we were able to summon one powerful enough, it just might work. The 
cloud of darkness. I can't begin to imagine how powerful it must have been. I say we found the perfect candidate. Bum, 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 bum. We have to find a suitable place, one where darkness is strong. It won't be easy in a world flooded by light. Well, we've got the Warrior of Darkness and the Oracle of Darkness right here. It seems like a good enough spot to me. But what about the light aligned ether that's all around us? That's where you can, you can suppress the light while I dry out the darkness. By combining our powers, we can make it work wherever we are. Combining our powers... What? Nod. Yes, between us, there's nothing we can't achieve. Don't be afraid, Gaia. Shrug. I'm not afraid. Just very concerned that this will all go horribly wrong. Which is the same thing, I suppose. Anyway, it's certainly not easy coming up with these plans by ourselves. That's true. But when this is over, we can reward ourselves with all sorts of delicious treats at the festival. Festival? What do you mean? We spoke about it on the way here, remember? I asked if you wanted to take part. Uh, uh, I was busy piloting the Sky Slipper, so I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh well, not to worry. We can talk about that later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Nod. Is it gonna do the whoosh unlocked or? I'll dry out the ambient ether and I'll shift its alignment to darkness. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's rumbling. Now, focus your thoughts. I'm focusing. Memories of the cloud of darkness enshroud your mind. Eden's promise, Umbra. Umbra. <laughs> now accessible. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do it to it. called for the real void send before, so everyone tells me, anyway. But this is unknown territory for me. With the two of you by my side, I'm sure it'll work. This is the first time we've tried this since that disaster with Shiva, so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Even so, I can't afford to waver now. Oh, okay. I should turn off, uh, join in progress. That looks like we're okay for now. I haven't practiced the new monk opener at all, so if I make any mistakes, it's because I haven't done it. <laughs> Same thing with the fights. Same thing with the mechanics. Oh, okay. Let me stretch out my neck. <gasps> oh, that song is so good. I'm out the darkness. Get ready. Add the soul abhorrence, the cloud of darkness. So I think this is her. I think this is her Dissidia motto. I'm not sure if they just. Uh, imported the model into this game or it is certainly this design <laughs> don't be afraid is like one of those songs that when i think final fantasy when i think video game music i think of this song
Okay, so... It's like that other lady. Where you gotta look at her hair. <laughs> her little, uh, body. Her little plant things. I don't know how to call them. Mandibles? Is that the word? Empty plane! That's when she changes the arena or raid wise. Both. Both, of course. Similar to the first demon fight. Blood of Emptiness. She's just gonna mark the squares. Unable to jump. Ground raising particle beam. Oh, okay. That was just a raid white, I guess. Oh, I got hit by that. That's okay. Didn't look at the forgot to look at the mandible. One of the healers dead. Ow! We died. I died. Just me. Not only me. Everyone was on the left for some reason. <laughs> Gonna wait for this, I guess. I'm guessing this is just spread out of the door. Okay, made it out of the people. Angle laser. Got a behind it. Oh! Okay, I didn't get that at all either. Gotta go to her sides. Thought it was gonna be everything in front of her, but only that little spot behind her would be safe. Deluge of Darkness. Is that another transition? Or everyone's dead again. Alright. Not that bad. Whoa. They, sh they got hit for a lot. And vitality is gonna help. Maybe. Getting here is very simple. I need to remember to look at her. Jump. 
bro. We gotta hit it. We gotta hit it from there. Gotta hit her from the back. Guys, get her off. Get off her back. Okay. So I didn't get that uh, deader thing at all. I'm just gonna assume I just go here. Or you just cut other people? Oh, you just cut other people. Makes sense. Gotta hit by one. Better, I think. The fact that she actually turns around for that is crazy. Not sure if it's gonna be like a final phase or if she's just gonna repeat everything. Very close to LB3, so we're gonna save this. Oh, 
What? I, that, that was a lot of leeway, actually, so... I believe we Oh my god, come on. The mouse almost betrayed me. We actually recovered without the uh, <laughs> without the LB3, so it's pretty good. One healer has pretty low mana though. We keep forgetting to do tornado kick. It's crazy. I think I should put it here on four. To use it, kind of like the gunbreaker rotation, I guess. One on the cooldowns, one off. Confused where everyone is on the left. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any third phase. They did like 2%. Covered from that, and we cleared it. That was kind of crazy. Skapoof. But why did the arena transform into her her joint? You know, <laughs> her flat, or whatever the word they use. That uh, I can get a bangle or some ring or something. I didn't even bother to look at how this set looks, so whatever. I'll look at them later. Rings last, bro. Gonna roll on these last. Jeez. <laughs> we did it. 
that was that was what a world flooded by darkness would look like but that all went surprisingly well of course we have the warrior of darkness to thank for slaying that ghastly creature you were a fantastic guy yeah anyone would think you're an old hand at this you weren't so bad yourself we make quite a team don't we we certainly do we certainly do <laughs> I don't know about you two but I'm itching to see whether our hard work has paid off let's head back let's get more spell speed is that what I picked I don't even remember boom, 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 boom. Plants are just as lifeless as they were before. Maybe the light's influence is still too strong. Whoa, what the? What in the world? Whoa. Fleeting hues and endless warmth, a gentle light washed over me. It's like a rainbow. Glimmer of hope, once lost. Still not sure what that enormous crystal actually does, and why it changes color, but I'm sure it didn't look like that before. Shadows of the past. Gaia is more than a little vexed that your last outing did not result in greater changes in the empty. We tipped the scales away from the light, I'm sure of it, but something's wrong. Very wrong. Damn! <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, sad music. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. You've been hiding inside Eden. All this time. Who's been hiding? Whoa. What's happening? It's an Asian. What? Now I'm angry. That shot kind of lingered on a lot. An Asian. I'm Mitron, servant of Zodiac. That voice that has whispered to me all my life. Indeed, thanks to you. I'm all but free from my prison of light. Does that mean Ethan was used to seal away an Asian? <gasps> Wait, that is Eden. An Asian transformed into a sin either. What? What a twist! Hmm. I've heard enough about Asians to know that they're nothing but trouble, but I've never imagined one of them was behind all this. I thought that restoring the darkness was my idea, but this was your plan from the very beginning. was 
but all it took was the slightest suggestion. The rest was entirely your own doing. Whoa. Is he gonna teleport away? Whoa. Ah, my freedom is so close. I can almost taste it. Finally, my soul may journey beyond the flesh to which I am yet bound. I knew you would come for me, Gaia. Hmm. Oops. Don't flatter yourself. You cause me nothing but pain. If I have helped you, it wasn't intentional. Even now, your memories elude you. Hearken unto me, Gaia, and remember. Remember? Remember what? Whoa. We're getting flashbacks. In an age past, the world you know as the 13th was flooded by darkness. Like ripples in water, the repercussions were felt in the other shards, none more so than here on the first, became perilously imbalanced and susceptible to the influence of light. Were light to consume the first as darkness did the thirteenth, it would likewise become a lifeless void, lost to our cause. We could not allow this mistake to be repeated. It was our duty to safeguard this world from the self-same fate. After a time, Emmett Selk conceived of a plan to trigger a rejoining, utilizing the very light we had labored to keep in check, and tasked us with bringing the plan to fruition. Okay, I think we already knew all of this so far. Nothing new. It's like it's like he doesn't know we've already like done this. <laughs> Though our resolve was strong, theirs was stronger still. As we fell, so too was the light unleashed. For us, however, death is not the end. Though our bodies may perish, our souls live on, withdrawing but temporarily to the rift. And we know all of this. We already know. <laughs> Until you can find a new body to possess. I too would have been reborn, but ere my soul could leave its corporal form, Hardbridge struck me with a blade of purest light, and that light enveloped my body, twisting it beyond recognition. So he became Eden. Eden, the first sin either. My soul felt such agony as I'd never known, and then I knew no more. In my insensate, instinctive state, Influenced by Hardbird's fervent desire to banish darkness, I unleashed the light burgeoning within me, and it spread as an all-consuming wave to every corner of the world. Wow. The flood of light. So that's how Sin Eaters came to be. All would have been lost had not the one called Minfilia appeared. Helping the light's inexorable advance, she saved what little still remained in the world. Yep, yep, we still know all of this. In the process, she also restored to me a sliver of my consciousness. Though I remained trapped in my altered form. Motionless, I was capable only of feeble whispering. Emmett Selk! Couldn't he have saved you? Nope. <laughs> Perhaps he could have, if such had been his wish. Far easier, however, to simply find another piece of my fractured soul to replace me. From his perspective, there was no need to intervene and potentially disturb with the balance of either, so here I remained. So after you failed, he left you here to rot, 
some friend he turned out to be. Thus abandoned, I called out for what seemed like an eternity to the only soul who could have saved me. You, Gaia. All this time, you were calling to me for help? Yes, but you had forgotten me, forgotten yours truly. Time went by, and eventually change came. The light began to subside, and the dark of night returned. Yeah, he's still doing more recap. Gradually, my voice grew stronger, until I was able to exert my will over you. You wanted me to free your soul from Eden, which is why you had me attack it. Another plan that ended in failure. Indeed. Thankfully, your subsequent attempts to restore this barren land allowed Eden to absorb more and more ether relying closer to darkness, gradually eroding the cage of light that holds me. Yep, that's what we just did. We were you're still recapping everything. Owing to your most recent efforts, my mind is wholly my own once more. I'm able to project my image beyond those confines. That all this time we've been helping free an Asian? Oh no. That's a fine tale, but why should I care about any of it? What are you to me? Come with me to Eden's score. There, all shall become clear. Wait! Wow. That was riveting. I mean, not completely, but you know. I had a bad feeling about this, but if we want to restore the land, we need to know what we're dealing with. I've just realized something. Eden has been absorbing all that rebalanced ether. That must be why we've struggled to restore life to the empty. I suppose we can think about that later, though. You know, Reen, Reen's priorities are set straight. You know, Tancred thought her well. She doesn't care at all about that Asian. She knows we can beat him up. More importantly, it seems I've lost control over Eden, most likely because of the Asian. Yuri Andre specifically warned us about not listening to the fairy's honeyed words, so we better think this through before we go rushing in. I don't know. We can rush in. Oh, if only he and Thedcred and Tancred were here now. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Gaia. I shouldn't be so quick to lose heart. What? No, that's not what I meant. Who are you, Riange and Thancred? What? Now, what a twist. Wait, I know those people. I'm sure of it. But why can't I remember them? Hmm. I thought something was strange when I mentioned the festival and the board even. It was as though you had no recollection of our earlier conversation. This is most likely connected to Mithron. Damn it all! What more is that fiend going to take from me? Take away from me? To tell the truth, the truth, the thing that frightened me most is that you might forget about us. That won't happen. For every memory I lose, we'll make two more together. And if I need to know of something, I can just ask you. Why not just start why not start by telling me about Yuri and Tancred? 
to be honest, my nerves are all a jitter. So I need something to help me settle down before we confront Mithron. Wow, she's so considerate. Now we're having tea? Hello? This is like an Asian, and he's just chilling, and he's probably raging at the fact we're having tea. Not caring about him at all. That's... Yuri Ange is probably the most intelligent person I know. He spends a lot of time reading, but he also says that you can't learn everything from books. And encourage me to go out and see the world from yourself. Sounds sensible to me. Much better to experience things firsthand than to read about someone else's. Like those coffee biscuits. No book could ever describe how good they taste. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? He is devoted to the study of prophecies. Prophecies are funny things if you ask me. If people know that something terrible is going to happen, they'll go and prevent it, which would make the prophecy untrue. Hehe, <laughs> I wonder what Uriange would say to that. As for Tancred, he's the one who freed me from Yulmore. At first, I thought of him as my knight in shining armor, but really, he was much more than that. We traveled all over Norrent, and he helped me become the person I am today. He even gave me my name. He's also an expert in infiltration. His gift for song won the heart of many a fair lady, or so he claims. Singing? That doesn't sound like the Tenkrit I know. It seems he has a way with words. That must be how he was able to choose such a pretty name for you. Whoa! Pretty name, huh? Actually, while we're on the subject, that gun blade over there belonged to Tancred. As far as mementos go, it's a bit on the cumbersome side, but it reminds me of our adventure together. Even though there's still little chance I'll ever see him again, it still feels like he's, in, he's here with me. Keeping your memories close. Whoa. She just did something. Probably on reflex. You know what? I should keep a diary. Even if I forget everything, at least I will have something to look back on. Or, or a collection of 50 VHS tapes. That's a brilliant idea. Since we're going to be making lots of new memories together, maybe I can write in it too. Ah! <gasps> A shared diary? As long as you improve your handwriting before you go scrawling all over it, I'd like your entries to be vaguely legible, if you don't mind. Ha, of course, your ladyship. They're so flirting right now. I mean, I should just, you know, step away. Before that, we've got an Asian to deal with. Let's get, we had time to, you know... Heat up the tea. We're gonna finish up our tea time. They're spending time flirting. They're gonna go out get a diary, and then we're gonna do the second, <laughs> the second boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When I think back on the days I spent with everyone, it's always the tiny, frivolous details that come to mind. The smiles, the little gestures. It's not as though I made a conscious effort to remember them. But it's stuck with me all the same. I suppose that's what memories are. A collection of all those seemingly insignificant moments. While well, they may not have made a huge difference in the grand scheme of things, they mean the world to me. It's good to hear about our friends. I still have no recollection of them whatsoever. It's just like all those things Mithron was saying. How can I even tell if they're true or not if I don't remember? There's no point dwelling on it though. Nothing for it but to press on. So what's at the core of Eden? 
Like, how are we gonna go fight that wolf thing? It's gonna transport us through Gaia's memories or something? I feel like that's what's going to happen somehow. Okay. We came as you asked. Now start talking. Voice settled for mere words when I offer something far greater. Eden will now afford you a glimpse of the past. More than a glimpse, in fact. Will be as real as many of the any of the foes you yourselves have conjured forth. Whoa, bro. Conjuring forth? Wait, you don't need to perform a summoning, do you? I do. I shall recreate the battles of a hundred years past, which pitted Ardbert and his fellow warriors of light against their nemesis, the Shadow Keeper. Whoa, the Shadow Keeper. Their nemesis. You mean Silva. Just as Emmet Selk recreated the final days of Amarath. Is that so? It seems much and more has occurred during my absence. No doubt he employed creation magics to breathe life into his recollections of the past. What do you hope to achieve with this history lesson of yours? You shall see. You shall remember. Now your very soul will revisit that fateful day a hundred years ago. Very soul. Gaia, you can't trust Mithron. If you do, you'll end up being manipulated again. Reen. You're right. My days of being controlled by this demons by this demon are over. I have a new life now, and I won't let anyone take that away from me. She's so resolute. My will is my own. You have no hold over me. This is all you're doing, accursed minions of light. I should be the one at her side, not you or anyone else. I will take her beyond the reach of your poisonous influence and keep her safe. Whoa! <gasps> no! What have you done with Gaia? 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 Nothing yet, but soon I will restore her to her true self. And you will help me to do so by conquering the adversary I present before you. Oh, was Gaia an Asian all along? Whoa! Whoa! Was Gaussian an Asian all along? That would be cool. She'd be like a good Asian. Whoa, he kicked us out. What are we going to do, DK? I knew it was risky trusting an Asian, but we played right into Mithron's hands. Do whatever it takes to save Gaia. Agreed. There's no telling what kind of danger she's in, but wherever she is, I know she's giving her all. Even though we're apart, we'll fight as one. Together, we'll bring an end to Mithron's wicked schemes. Let's just jump back in there. 
Looks like Mithron's grip on Eden has loosened somewhat, perhaps to allow me to send you to the battlefield. Once you get there, don't let your guard down. This may be a reenactment of a moment in history. The threat you face is very real. Whatever happens, you must make it through this. Gaia's counting on us. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Eden's promise, literally, now accessible. So that was a while between one and two, which I thought was gonna be like between two and three or something. I wish I knew more about this Shadow Keeper, then I at least would be a little better prepared. All I can say is, be careful. Well, I know about her, but... Oh, about her, but she's not a. She's kind of seclusive. Oh, and stand on this. It's kind of crazy, actually. Hopefully, a dev won't see me do this. Cool if you could actually walk up here and soak in more of the sights. So, what do you think so far, chat, of this? Uh, it's kind of, uh... The first fight was interesting. I mean, I... I'm gonna guess that on Savage, there's like a... Like a trend, more of it doesn't just loop or anything, you know. Maybe it's more interesting. I'm guessing maybe you have to like fight the plants before cutting up the tethers. I should have remembered those tethers. They were like the in Void Arc, right? The poison ones. Maybe they're new. Poison ones, if like, both people get stunned, so it's kind of different. It's kind of cool to, like... See how different mechanics like that, where people need to run around to do stuff with other people. Becomes much more easy when you have, like, a large raid party. When people have to pick up stuff. Because I was doing the raid in WoW, and... And wow, you can technically like do normal and heroic on uh, very little people, like 10 people. But some mechanics won't necessarily uh, scale down. So like, you have a boss where you have to pick up stuff. The number, the number of stuff you have to pick up is probably the same as... Uh, whether you're 10 or 20 people, right? So, it's kind of taking a while. It shouldn't be too long. It's too bad you can't go in tents. Have some nice tea. I do like this song. I feel like it doesn't really fit the mood of what's going on right now. Like, it's kind of very. Um, right now, I like I'm like rushing in to get in there, save Gaia. Technically, that's what the story is at. See, why can I walk over there? It'd be cool if you could fish. <laughs> Maybe when you finish your raid, you unlock fishing here or something. Oh, looks like we're just missing a tank.
But yeah, they added apparently they added more slash C pose poses. Gonna check them out. So there's one okay, standard hands on hips. There's one oh yeah, that's this one. The cross arm pose. There's one with the fingers. The, the fingers, the leg back. This one with the leg on the side. This one. So all of these so far are already in the game. Oh, this one. I haven't seen this one before. I thrust my... I kind of thrust my uh, abdominals forward on this one. Shoulders back. This one is new too. So hands on the hips and the leg. Nope. That's it. Two more. Two more. But two more per gender, per uh, race, per sub race. That's a lot. That's a lot of new poses. You know, maybe they're not entirely new. Probably twin snakes. Twin snakes, riddle of fire, brotherhood, the bosh, perfect balance, forbidden chakra, dragon kick, tornado kick, boot shine, tornado kick, holy zagalis, boot shine, shoulder tackle, or something like that. Because at the first, I don't know where else to put my cooldowns. Went on the opening. So this, this, people, this. If I do this, then this, it's only gonna last the whole riddle of fire. So I have to refresh it anyway. But I want to do this, and then this. It won't. It also won't last the entire thing. It's kind of weird. So I have to do this, then this, almost. But I want both my twin snakes to be buffed with Riddle of Fire. Right. I'm have to think about that opener later. God, this song is good. So this all took place a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. That's... What does it have to do with Gaia? Maybe Gaia is the puppy? Ravening anti-hero. The Shadow Keeper. Whoa, we're fighting Silva? I hope there's like new dialogue uh, options. the castle where she also summoned us now that scene that scene is better if you would do this late afterwards almost
backwards and load. Spawn Shadow for ads. Hooked in Shadow, a lying weight. Shadow Warrior. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, okay, so that was the real or the real one. Just two AoEs? I don't know why that took that long. I guess this is normal. Oh my god, so he summoned the sword. Sword puffer. Umbra smash! No cheat. I guess you need to do a tank swap here. Gear, maybe. <laughs> right Giga Smash. It's gonna do a left Giga Smash. Right Saddle Flash. I just love the music too, you know. Okay, well I don't know why that hit over there. stays in the middle. I don't, I don't know if he just stays in the middle of the tank. Didn't move at all. You can stick close.
hand over there. That was kind of mean. Oh, what? One of those took me out. Just one of those. Don't have enough mana the res, bro. You gotta, you gotta use your... Uh, you gotta use your mana regen. Okay, dude, we're gonna get an LB3 recovery every boss. <laughs> it's the most fun to do when everyone's here. Oh no, she's stuck! No, healer! And scream. This is the third phase. Spawn of Shadow. Okay. Poor dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I just totally mix up looking right there. Umbra smash makes makes me think of something else like a. Oh my god, this does look like a bayonetta D boss, and she's doing umbra moves. Oh my gosh. Cutting close. Whew. I cut it close. I cut it close.
So how many times have I died now? Twice? That's 20 push-ups. Should get like 40 push-ups by the end. Okay, I did get a ring before, right? Uh, I can get more accessories, I guess. I should get that one. That was pretty fun. Why does this all seem so familiar? <laughs> Mithron's returned Gaia to us. I have a feeling this isn't over yet. I get more spell speed. This is pretty fun so far. The Warriors of Light, the Shadow Keeper. I've seen this all before. Yes, you and I have joined our power as one to create the Shadow Keeper. We bore witness to its battle with the Warriors of Light. Our power, so I was there, and I wasn't alone. No, Gaia, it's not true. It can't be. How can you have been there a hundred years ago? Look deep inside. You know it was real. Cast aside those worthless memories and embrace who you truly are. Worthless? Now I see. This is why you've been tempering with my memories ever since I was a child. Just so. And now, I possess the means to purge them entirely. Your rebirth will finally be complete. You have no right to deny me a life. Rob me of what I hold most precious. My memories may seem worthless to you, but not to me. I will never be yours. My place is here, in this world, in this life, in this moment. Wherever my friends are, that is where I belong. Nod. The power of nodding combined. Then you would turn your back on our glorious past? On the lives we once lived? Any past I may have shared with you is long gone. I live in the here and now, striving to build a better future. And I'll be damned if I let you take that away from me. Whoa, a hammer. She's holding it like a DRK, DRK sword. To be reunited at long last, only to be shunned. To be shunned? That I had died with you, to be reborn. Even without knowledge of the rare past, we may yet forge a future together. I'm sick of your riddles. Speak plainly or not at all. You and I fought the Warriors of Light as one, joined both in both body and soul. When Heartbirt struck his final blow, the light tore through the bonds that held us. Till you perished, I was condemned to a far worse fate. My flesh became my prison, and I was cursed to remain here an abomination. While you lived on with others at your side, I will suffer it no more. You belong to me. I too was once held against my will, robbed of my freedom. To be trapped and alone for a hundred years, I can't begin to imagine the pain you must have felt. 
That doesn't give you the right to deny Gaia a chance at happiness. We won't send you happiness. True happiness. Till fate conspired to tear us apart. We'll never let that happen again. We shall be joined as one. My memory is yours. Together for all eternity. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do something. The, the darkness. It's rising within me. Oh, she was an Asian all along. I called it. That mark. It was kind of a bit obvious. <laughs> as soon as he appeared, I was like, oh no, she's an Asian too. What is this? Why am I... Hold on, Gaia. Whatever it is, you mustn't give in. Oh, she's gonna go, Gaia? Who's that? <laughs> Who are you? Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, now nothing will keep you from me. I'm yours and you are mine. Oh! Boof, skadoosh. Biff, baff, bang. Oh my gosh, they fuse together like those other two. We are one. We remember. It's like Venom. So it's true? Gaia really is a reincarnated Asian? The girl you once knew is no more. The Asian who held the seat of Logriff is all that remains. Gaia is her true name. Oh, I'm gonna remember. How long has it been? How long have I dreamed of this day? Whoa. It's a regular model, but with the big lips. <laughs> Is that you, Mithron? Forgive me, I didn't recognize you. In my defense, my memories have only recently been restored. My mind is still a little hazy. Hardly surprising. No matter how many times, no matter how many times we are reborn, it is disorienting to have everything change around you. Even so, I immediately recognize your resplendent soul, and I cling to the hope that one day you will likewise remember mine. You always were a forgetful one. I could never forget you, try as I might. But tell me, what do you know of my past? I admit, my memory may need refreshing. We served together as members of the Convocation of Fourteen, dedicated to the summoning of Lord Zodiark. Although the task assigned to you eventually fell to Elidibus. Yeah, I remember. Amidst the chaos and despair, you never left my side, my loyal protector. But in the end, it was in vain. I was powerless to prevent Hydaelyn from tearing our world asunder.
so I heard from Emmett Selleck. We labored to make our world whole again. That's why he restored my memories, so that I can play my part. Our part. Alone we struggle, but by joining your power with mine, we may yet succeed. My power? Hmm. You always were one for flattery. Oh, I assure you, I am quite sincere. It would be my honor to serve the cause alongside you. I shan't take no for an answer. Whoa. The honor is mine. For as much as I chide and tease you, you are everything to me. My inspiration. When I'm with you, I fear nothing. Promise me that we'll never be parted again. I promise. Even should fate conspire to separate us, I will reach out to you wherever you may be. Damn, now we got a beat up Gaia. And I will come running. That's too sad. We were destined to find each other, to awaken our buried past and be born anew. Though our brethren employed crystals to return sundered souls to their office, without them, such a feat was beyond my reach. But by becoming one in mind and body, my memories are yours. At last, you have awoken. Now, the time has come to restore our world to the utopia it once was. Let Gaia go! You are not worthy to speak that name. If you must call her anything, use the name chosen by her parents. If you even know what that is. Oh! No. To me, her name is Gaia. And nothing you say about her makes any difference to me. I don't care if she's an Asian, she's my friend. Was your friend. Never again will she answer to your cries. That's sad, bro. We'll break the shackles that bind her. Your wicked schemes have gone far enough. We're taking Gaia back. A cure, accursed servants of light. You will not tear us apart again. Whoa. Oh, am I gonna fight her? Green again? What, what is this? Visions in my mind. A summoning? Can I just shoot this guy? Fucking Kamehameha. Fucking ether blast him. All your hopes and fears turned against you. There is no escape from your past. Whoa, Reen's past? Oh no, we're gonna fight that old dude again? Frick. Voice of the soul. Reen is racked with agony, as unseen tendrils scraps at her memories. No, my memories, they're being used to fuel a summoning. Uh, is this how it feels to have the fairy inside my mind? The thing Gaia has to endure it for so long. You're right. However bad that is, it's nothing compared to what she's going through now. But if the summoning really is based on my hopes and fears, it's most likely create a foe unlike any you've ever fought before. Whatever it may be, I believe in you. We'll find a way through this. I know it. So you're just gonna unlock it immediately? So I'll just need to do something here real quick while the queue is going. Let me just start the queue here. Anamorphosis. Must be vanquished. Well, it seems that summoning would be based on my memories. I still have no idea what form it would take. Remember, it's all an Asian ploy, so please don't let yourself be fooled. Please, just do what you have to do. 
I'm sure you're more than a match for whatever Mithron has in store. Just need to plug in my PS4. If a new grand blue character came out. I'm gonna remember to have it unplug. Still here, don't worry about it. I'll be ready. Okay. Gosh, this is very annoying. That's okay. Eden's promise anamorphosis. I know this place. It's the jail in the <laughs> Could have just written jail. Fuck, I knew it was the old dude again. Damn it. Gosh, they made it a, a bishy boy. Oh, it's like Thancred, the old dude, and the big fat dude at the same time. Than the AoE indicator. What a trick. That's the Xeno swing. You're not going anywhere. Oh. What the? That's it? <laughs> what was that? I guess maybe a tank has to get that. No, I feel like I need to rush this. Because I want to get the... <laughs> I need to actually do some hero combo or something. That's fine. What? Oh, I need to be close. Oh my gosh. It's fire, you need to be close. That's just mean. Okay, I'm at 30 push ups now.
What the? I sense a surge in the ether. Whoa, they're like turning. Okay, I didn't really get that. I didn't get that either. sucks here when the healers really get a party you know live for long because I see all the mechanics but I'm not doing them you know okay, so lightning is a line and fire is not back so oh, lightning is bigger than you think it is fire is not back yeah okay that makes sense which is kind of the opposite because usually lightning is you go away from it and then fire is just a regular AoE usually I feel like the boss is gonna stay at like 70% for like an hour imbued with light what does light do is it gonna be both Oh, just AoE's under you. I'm trying to remember if there was any fight like this one. Or similar. All the DPS res and then just die. Pretty nice. dead and with the other red mage the light's so strong. whoa it's like that other white dragon move I think do this fight but and I'm dead for most of the mechanics so okay this I didn't get it at all either so, so away from the red ones Red one's bigger. No, that's no. That was lightning. Oh man, I'm lost. Okay, so lightning, go further away. Fire, stick close. All of these. She's gonna loop these. The music is very <laughs> demon souls. <laughs> You know, with horns, chuns. Yeah, stay away. Gonna go over here? Or did they switch? I think they go over here. 
I'm just gonna stay here. Oh, am I dead? Nice. I don't know why I died. Why was the red one the small one there? And why was the blue one the big one? I'm very confused. I'm gonna type, I'm very confused. But, that's all. Oh, the one in the middle. The one in the middle is the one that's small. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> the lightning bigger than you think. And fire. Close to him. The fact that tank keeps turning him around, like I'm scared too, but that's okay. Is he gonna just keep looping this? Because he already went through that phase where he hops off. He said that the one unique mechanic I miss because I'm dead. Powder and that powers it up. I'm just standing here. I don't care. I don't think I would have died. 
The, I missed the one unique mechanic. That's kind of sad. She deserves all the happiness in the world. Oh, this is this fight is also kind of a remember this. Although all the mechanics, the, the mechanics, the mechanics are new, right? That's that's good. Uh, let me get more accessories, baby. I'm gonna comment that red mage. Hell yeah, baby. Oh yeah, blue mage is level 70 now. I need to use my XP boosts on blue mage. My challenge log. Come on, come on, come on, roll, roll, roll. Roll, 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 baby. Did I get anything? No, okay. We're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. This is the way of the Asians to use the memories of our loved ones against us. Whoa! That fragmented souls should triumph over their fears while we succumb to ours, thereby setting our start upon a course of ruin. That inferior being such as you should succeed while we failed. It defies all logic. Whoa! Spirit bomb. Whoa, time stop? Now's your chance. Ow! Gaia's still in there, fighting to free herself from Logriff's will. Even now, you would defy us. We will remove every last vestige of your meaningless mortal existence. Oh. Whoa! No, that's all of her memories. Her memories. No. Oh. No. That's such symbolism. Gaia's memories, they're being destroyed. Impurities must be purged. We shall begin by erasing you from her past, and then by your deaths, erase you from her future. There's no place for you in our utopia. We may be more mere mortals, our souls fragmented. But our existence is not meaningless. And you should understand this. Before you awoke as an Aeacian, you lived as one of us. And you had your own memories, and surely they mean something? The lives you led can all have been for nothing. For naught. To we who have known perfection, they are less than nothing. Compared to yours, our lives may seem insignificant. Nevertheless, we live them to the fullest. Though it may take us a thousand years, we have the potential to build a world every bit as wonderful as yours. But you won't even allow us a chance to live our own lives and forge our own future. Whatever you forge will inevitably crumble to dust. But we are immortal, our legacy eternal. 
If our world cannot be made complete as it once was, we will create a perfect moment that shall last forever. By our hand shall our paradise be made, where there is no beginning and no end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eden's absorbing enormous amounts of ether. At this rate, the whole world will be drained. Light and darkness, the elements of nature, all in harmony. A sublime utopia where time has no meaning. We shall become one with Eden, free to live in peace for eternity. No, no, no. I can't let you do that. No! Gaia! <gasps> oh no. There's only one thing for it. I'll try to disrupt the balance of ether and create an opening for you. We can't let it end it like this. It's up to us to save Gaia. about about love friendship and courage let me talk with my hands cover my face Oof. okay we can do it we can do it we're up to four now and uh, it's only been two hours so yeah the first two were the longest I think the parts uh, parts to do right the cutscenes. A place where time has no meaning, where there's no beginning and no end. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. We all die someday, but that's what life makes life so precious. And I know that Gaia wouldn't want that to simply exist without any hope for the future. To stay the same forever. How she lives is up to her. It's not for Mithron or anyone else to decide. We'll free her from that fiend and we'll give her the chance she deserves. Eternity. Eden's promise, eternity. It started in Eden here, and it's gonna end in Eden here. Just go quickly go for a pee. I almost missed it. We're almost there. We're almost there. <sighs> it's kind of lame that we have an Asian again after we've already fought like two. <laughs> They're really, uh, it's really winding down this Asian storyline, you know. 
wonder what he's gonna look like. Oh, what? Eden will become a utopia. Whoa, what's it? One that we may share for all eternity. Utopian vision. Eden's promise. She's still in there. Somewhere. Why do you need like eight arms though? I won't give up on our future, Gaia. No matter what. Leviathan, Leviathan. Then, Ramu again. Wow. It's weird playing this after playing Rogue in a while. Where I had the talent that I had more melee range. So I could hit, like, I can hit, like, mobs from so far away. I'm guessing there's a second form because we're doing a lot of damage very quick. It's a raid line. Oh, there you go. Stage. Stage transition. <laughs> Phase transition. Oh, she got big. 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 Do I have to mash here, do you think? Is that memories of us? Memories? Whoa. What? What the? Gotta go up the floors? You've got to protect her memories. You've Hurry. got to protect her memories. And I'm doing it. Whoa. Coffee biscuits. You're not gonna take those coffee biscuits away from me. Dude, you guys ignore the stack marker. Hello? The other half. I told you it would make a great necklace. I think it will really suit you. Dude, don't do that.
chisel sculpture. Is this ice? Where did this come from? Where did this come from? If this goes on much longer, she'll forget everything. What are we going to do? This is like so long, by the way. <laughs> you are, unworthy, are we gonna fight her now? We shall bring eternal, eternal harmony. Tranquility and vitality. Probably shouldn't have used my cooldown in the last one. Oh, Utopia, cannot fall! Leviathan, Leviathan. Jesus Christ. Dude, fucking get the fuck out of the way, bro. Was it from the fight thing? So like here. I'm a pro with this. I remembered names. Names and patterns. God, I wish that tank would just stay over there. Hello? Okay, we're doing wrong. Oh my gosh, did it immediately. I could then buy it then. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I forgot where if it things were. What the? F What's the thing with tanking her pointing south? Gosh, that's annoying. Just an AoE. Whoa, the bombs, bro.
Mamu and Leviathan. So, here we go. I'll just fucking ignore those bozos. Leviathan and Garuda. Leviathan and Garuda seems like the one. Thinking her pointing south was so annoying. That was so weird. Get that minion. Oh, too bad. The thinking set was very. They're all left. Tanking point things out, bro. You're gonna do that? I'm guessing we're gonna get a bunch of cutscenes here. Maybe not, who knows. Okay, we did it! She's free at last! Or at least that's how it seems. She won't wake up. Kaya, I don't know if you can hear me, or if you even remember who I am, but just give me a sign here that you're alright. Please, say something, anything. She 
she can hear you, Rin. Keep trying. You're right. I mustn't lose hope. Wait, what's this? It's that necklace. But she said she left it back in the Crystarium. Maybe she likes it more, a lot more than she lets on. I suppose it does hold a lot of memories for the both of us. Wait! There might be a way we can use this to bring her back. Try calling Gaia's name to help bring her back to her senses. I have to type it out. Gaia, we're right here beside you. The necklace begins to glimmer faintly. She can hear us. I know she can. Now all we can do is pray that she'll return. Get me some of that crit or something. We did it, I think, maybe. Gaia, I know you're in there somewhere. If you're lost, I'll find the way to reach you. I swear it. It's dark. The darkness. Where am I? Bo, oh, it's Mithron. I'm finally free of you, it seems. Oh, dearest Gaia, that fate should part us once more. Still, this is what you wanted. There's no need to be quite so upset. What do you mean? You've been released from Eden, free to be reborn. Perhaps one day, fate will bring us together again in another life. After all, you've already found me once, in spite of everything. I might even be the one to find you. I fear you will come to forget me, to forget the times we shared. Perhaps, after all, Memories are such fragile things. That's why I'm planning to keep a diary. Even after I'm gone, my memories will live on. For future generations to discover. Yes, they'll read the tale of the girl bound by duty and of her loyal protector. Arrived in her hour of need. Perhaps you might leave out the part where that protector was the one who needed saving. You have grown strong, Gaia. If I'd found you sooner, then maybe. No, wait. Don't leave me. I'm 
Until we meet again, Artemis. Huh? Whose name did I just... Well, never mind that for now. I need to get out of here. Wherever here is. I feel as though there's somewhere I'm supposed to be. But I can't for the life of me remember where. This is too anime. This is also very similar to the end of the Omega Raid, spoilers. Where uh, our friend the weirdly proportioned anime chocobo, unlike here, uh, keeps walking and walking. Oh, that necklace. What's this? Is this ice? It certainly looks like it, but it doesn't seem to melt, and it shines so brightly. I've seen this before. That's it! There was that girl. What was her name? Green? Gaia. Green. I can't find my way out of here. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm coming for you. Why did you j jump forward? For <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. There's flowers. And trees. That was too anime. You remembered. I could never forget you. Try as I might. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Look at those mushrooms. So the ether that Eden absorbed was returned to the land. Now just like Mithron, the empty can finally be reborn. Though it can hardly be called the empty now, it's a utopia. We did it bros, we saved the first. Thrilled we've been able to restore the empty, but I can 
Stop thinking about Mitheron and Logriff. It seems to me they were only bound to their duty because of their memories. It seems that there's something within that doesn't want to be forgotten. Their souls live on, no matter how many times to go through the cycle of death and rebirth. I wonder what lives would have been like if they were never remembered, and had carried on living among us mortals. Then again, I suppose I am Logriff, in a way, but still me. Where I belong. By the look on her face, Rin can scarce believe that the empty is restored. Are we gonna get like a festival cutscene, you think? They mentioned it. I still can't believe this is happening. It's a dream come true. Just wish the others were here to see it. Perhaps Gaia could pay them a visit and share the good news. I'll be sure to tell them all about it. Yes, I suppose that's the next best thing. Hold on, you might even be able to take something with you to show them. I'll bet the fruit that grows here could be used to make all sorts of delicious treats. You could even make something yourself, Reen. That's a great idea, but my cooking can be a bit hit or miss. Maybe once we get back to the Crystarian, I'll ask for some advice. Actually, I want to ask something. When you say the others, do you mean Tancred, the bookworm, and you, Rianger, your knight in shining armor? Haha, <laughs> nope, it's the other way around. Or is it? It seems my memory is even less reliable than before. The main thing is, the whispering in my head has stopped, so I shouldn't have any more bouts of amnesia. Even so, there's a part of me that'll miss hearing the fairy's voice. I know how you feel, Gaia. Anyway, we've all been through rather a lot. So why don't we head back to civilization for some much needed rest? Alright, leave the piloting to me. Yippee! Woo! Yatase! Okay, so it took about three hours. I should have done this earlier, actually. <laughs> I couldn't stream all day today, so that's okay. I understand that keeping the Sky Slipper here allows us to save fuel from traveling all the way back to Mordsuk, but can't we just carry a bit extra? It's not easy crossing the desert in these heels, you know. I seem to remember you weren't too enthused when I suggested buying some nice sensible walking boots. Come to think of it, maybe we should rest here for a while. You must be tired after all the piloting. I'm fine. Besides, I had the two of you to keep me company. It was over before I knew it. Taking in the scenery with the wind in my hair really helped clear out the cobwebs too. Perhaps I should see about getting my very own sky slipper. What? You can't just buy one. Even if you could, it'd cost a fortune. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be my Yulmorian upbringing speaking. I'll have you know, I'm almost as comfortable in my humble surroundings, my Mord Souk, for example. That reminds me. It's time we made our way there and told Yalfor all about, well, everything. Zoop zoop. So, did this background change? Or is it still just white? Kind of looks like it. kind of weird like the last boss kind of felt very easy on normal 
like Shiva on normal actually felt difficult a bit, you know? I don't know. It's nice to get back to the normal normality for a change. I'll say one thing for this place. For better or worse, I'll never forget the smell. Welcome back. Take it all is well in the empty. It is now. Not everything went quite as we planned, to put it mildly. But we managed to revive the ambient ether. Now all we need to do is wait for the changes to become more widespread. Truly? Wonderful. Just wonderful. I shall share the tidings with our inner circle. And perhaps it is time more people knew of your expeditions as well. Of course, we'll continue to monitor the situation, but I'm sure it won't be long before we can allow members of the citizenry to make their own furries into the empty. We did it, Bruce. Pleased to say that I too have some good news to share. Our investigators in Yulmore have finally found information pertaining to Gaia's true identity. Really? As it pertains to matters of private nature, the information is being treated as highly confidential. So I haven't actually looked at it myself, but I imagine it includes Gaia's real name. To be honest, I prefer not to know. But why? You see, I've come to learn a lot about my past. Even before my life in Yulmore, I know that now that I'm the reincarnation of Logriff, an Asian, and Mithron, the one who was transformed into Eden, was someone very special to me. For a hundred years, Mithron called out to me in the hope we'd be reunited, but there was no answer. Even so, Mithron held on to those precious memories of our life together, stopped at nothing to make them a reality once more. I now know, I know now, I now know, I know now that Mithron wanted the same as us, wanted the world to be as it once was. Yes, it's a shame that things turned out the way they did, those hundred years of solitude, that dream became an obsession. I would have liked, I would have likewise succumbed to the darkness within if it weren't for Rin and Alexandra. If someone had also been there for Mithron, who knows what might have happened. That's why, from now on, I want to help those in need to give their dreams a chance to come true. For me, the name Gaia symbolizes hope. Though each of our lives may be a drop in the great river of time, hope springs eternal. Gaia. So, I'm sorry. While I appreciate your efforts to find my past, Look into the future now, as Gaia. No need to apologize. As long as you're happy, and so are we. Right, I expect my colleagues will be keen to turn their attention to the empty. If you'll excuse me, I have expeditions to arrange. Till next time. So, what shall we do now? Come on, Reen. Don't tell me you're forgotten. They're gonna kiss? Oh! Are they gonna kiss? The festival of the Crystarium, remember? Don't even think about leaving me out. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh! Oh, dee hee 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 hoo hoo! Damn, 
They're so precious, bro. Bro. And all's well that ends well. Savage. Talk about the final report. The final report, as a matter of fact, I'm rather curious to read it myself. And while I have yet to actually receive it, I was pleased to hear that your latest venture has met with success. Be that as it may, the readings did give me cause for concern. That was no ordinary ethereal disturbance, but I'm certain that all will be adequately explained by the report. Unfortunately, Miss Serene tells me that there may be a slight delay. She will inform you when it's finished and they are ready to make the journey back here to Morsuk. I shall contact you via Link Peel as soon as I am able to hear from her. Uh, okay. Some days later. So I just waited there for like three days. Here's the report. Written by yours truly, Gaia. I think you'll find it quite a riveting read, if I do say so myself. Oh, so you're thinking over from Miss Reem on this occasion? Well, I recently become interested in writing and it seemed a good opportunity, opportunity to practice. I thought giving an objective account of events would be straightforward, but it's surprisingly difficult. Reading it back, most of it sounds like gibberish. There were also a few creative liberties in the parts that you couldn't quite remember. Shrug. In any case, I expect it will prove most valuable, providing I'm able to discern fact from uh, the uh, embellishments. That taken care of, let's treat ourselves to some more snacks. Embellishments? I wonder. You're still not worried about that, are you? Just you filling in the blanks, that's all. Here, take a look at this. Embellishments, huh? Found this after I recovered from the last battle. It's another one of those crystals, the one that contains Eden's memories. Zoop zoop. Far more puissant than your recollections. Oh no, savage again. Yeah, I saw the images too. Glad the foes you actually fought weren't quite so ferocious. Ferocious? Ferocious? Nevertheless, now that we, we know what Eden truly is, we owe it to Mithron to keep these memories alive. All their, all their though they may be. Gaia, are you sure about this? From all that rage and malice, there was some good in there. These memories were of you, so I want you to have the crystal. Think of it as a parting gift from Mithron. Thanks. Nod. Anyway, what was that you were saying about snacks, Reen? Maybe once we're done, I can take you for a ride. I've got transportation of my own now, you see. What? Whenever did you- Oh, never mind. Sure. I'd love to go for a ride. Why don't we ask Alexandra and Yuri to come along too? I'm afraid there's only room for two. Maybe some other time. Bye bye. There they go. Whatever Miss Gaia beheld in this crystal seemed to have quite resonated with her. If you like, I will keep it here on your behalf. 
Whenever you wish to gaze into its depths again, you need only say the word. Bong. Come on, do it. Hell yeah. I guess I could have just 